guys, welcome back to the Prepare 3D video today. I'd like to welcome you all that are seven days of the Astral and Jude Lana today. Registration for goal Zuli Brother Kilo Lima from um, from London Heathrow to uh, Kuwait to the Astral Airport, guys. So, um, I'd just like to uh, welcome you guys today on board the celebration with uh, 7157. I'd just like to start off with um, just pointing out just how lucky um, I am personally and what position I am in regarding to um, just being able to do this flight. So, um, I started off. Uh, and it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna sound completely relevant, but it is relevant to um, why this flight is gonna be so special. And it's because um, a couple of uh, years ago, so about uh, 30th of December 2017, I started off uh, doing flight simulation, and um, uh, the, the the concept of having 100 destinations seemed to be quite um, well, nearly impossible, really, because that's uh, that's a lot of. Um, uh, not just a lot of uh, money, but it's also a lot of investment and time into the simulator because to get to 100 destinations anyway, you've got to uh, be pretty active, you know, and uh, I thought it would be pretty uh, difficult and impossible to do. Um, but then what I realized was, um, as I was flying more long haul and long haul, the, the electricity that you get sort of it's kind of like an electrical feeling between uh, you as an aviator and the simulator and you really do st and you connect in a way that it sort of becomes part of your routine and your life and really today flying to kuwait is just a prime example of how i feel regarding you know being able to fly to these wonderful and beautiful destinations you know and uh today i feel extremely privileged to take you guys today with me on this adventure on the 787-9 dreamliner to kuwait so just to give you an outline of what you'll see uh today in the flight so uh today we'll be uh expecting a sunrise beautiful sunrise as we take off away from the uk as this flight will take us over with a uh southeast direction today over five hours and 38 minutes just to uh, get specifics, it, but not too specific, sorry, uh, but um, just to give you a little overview of the flight. So today we'll be uh, flying uh, in a southeast, southeast, southeast direction over France, and then we'll be leaving uh, French airspace and entering into Italian airspace, just uh, leaving Italy and uh, over Greece and then over the uh, Mediterranean Sea. We'll be making a right turn over Lacto and uh, flying uh, inbound into Egypt. Then we'll be uh, flying, flying over Saudi Arabia, which should be really beautiful. Uh, just the whole food, the whole flight will be beautiful anyway. But Saudi Arabia is uh, really mad. You know, it's this thing when you're flying on the, like over a desert and stuff like that, and you're like you're on a you're in a plane, you're all cozy and stuff, and you know you're flying at 41,000 feet. And it's just such a cool experience. But anyway, that's me just blabbing on. But yeah, Saudi Arabia, and then eventually we'll be uh, entering into Kuwait through the southwest and arriving today. Uh, so far planned into runway 15 right, however that might change, I believe it's the three threes, but I'm not too sure. Um, and uh, it should be a uh, fantastic fly overall today, just around uh, taking 33 tonnes of uh, fuel. And uh, we're just going to be cruising overall, flight level 410. And uh, also, I'd like to mention guys, that I am going to go to sleep on this flight, so I won't be able to update the headings or... Um, I just won't be really able to monitor the flight for a lot of the time because I want to try and get four hours of sleep in this flight, uh, 43 and a half hours. Um, so uh, I won't be updating any of the GoPro views uh, throughout the flight uh, all the way till I wake up. And then if I wake up on time and it's still viable, we will climb to flight level. Actually, we won't be climbing to flight level 450 because I think I don't think the aircraft. Uh, with the payload that we're going to be taking today and the uh, just the overall weight of the aircraft I don't think we'll be able to climb to flight level 450 because past uh, flight level 410 we kind of step into non-RBS and airspace where we have to be so westbound is flight level 430 and eastbound is flight level 450 if you're not on non-RBS non, non and airspace so uh, climbing to 450 is obviously quite difficult anyway and your weight of the aircraft has to be quite specific but we, you know, who knows? We might be able to climb five or four, five zero. But we'll see. We'll see on the flight. And uh, without further ado, guys, um, the way that I'm going to structure these videos is you guys. Uh, I'm going to briefly, obviously, I'm going to make a specific video on how I'm going to make my full flight videos. But if just uh, in case I haven't made that video and you guys are watching this before that, the way it's going to happen is I'm only going to be showing 
the so this intro that I'm giving you right now and a departure and an arrival briefing in full detail along with the pushback and all the non-essential parts of flight which I believe are the taxis uh, at taxiing other than you know talking to ATC which I'll take away from the time lapse but that will be in time lapse and the cruise uh, with the approach and the takeoff along with the essential parts of the taxi and uh, some parts of the pushback will obviously always be kept in real time along with the departure briefing if you guys would like to see the whole put cockpit flows and uh, FMC setup please do let me know in the comment section below and I will change my ways but without further ado guys enjoy the rest of your flight make yourselves at home and welcome board and um, without further ado I'll get into the flight deck and I'll see you for the departure briefing thanks for tuning to the video so far guys and I'll speak to you soon so hey guys welcome back to the flight deck here and we're going to start our departure briefing out of London Heathrow um, so we're just currently uh, checking out weather conditions uh, outbound through London uh, currently available since uh, 0650 Zulu, which for me is just about half an hour ago. So, currently winds 150 degrees, 13 knots. Winds are coming from a uh, southeasterly direction, moving towards the northwest. Um, 10 kilometers of visibility or more. Clouds overcast at 3500 with a temperature of 1, dew point minus 6, kh 102, 7 hectopascals. So, we just uh, put 102, 7 hectopascals over here. Fantastic with the sun rush coming over there, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, because we've got overcast clouds, we're actually going to change some stuff here, the performance, so... Oh, we can't add that, can we? But we'll be uh, using engine anti-ice today, uh, anyway. And, uh, we'll be, uh, taking off today, expecting departure of Romo Zero down the left. We'll just, uh, look at our, uh, departure stand today, which is 566. We'll be pushing back here onto Delta to the north. We'll be taking the, uh, second left into Alpha. We'll join Link 57 and we'll be short of Alpha Bravo 13. Um, and uh, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll be uh, taking off today with a, uh, I believe that's a flaps 5 departure, and uh, we'll set the tribute units to uh, 5. Um, just so we were planning to in the EFP here. And uh, in fact, we're going to put the Optimum here as well. Yeah, there you go. It's 5, but the acceleration had been at 1000 today. And the um, and the turbofan pressure ratio uh, there will be uh, having today uh, seventy uh, point one on the thrust, and the uh, takeoff is deregulated anyway. Takeoff to fifty four degrees, and uh, we'll be uh, taking off today with a V one speed of one forty, V one forty two, V two one forty eight, just for uh, safety in case we need to reject the take all course stop. Uh, preferably at 80 knots, but if uh, before the V1 speed, uh, we'll be going stop. We'll break RTO maximum versus full speed brakes. Break on the next available right. Call the cabin, say this captain speaker, remain seated in case uh, we need to uh, continue with the departure after the V1 speed. Uh, we'll be climbing uh, outbound initially London DME 1.5, and then I actually want to turn straight south with a set altitude of 2100. Uh, as a minimum, so we come 2,100 as a minimum, preferably 6,000. We'll be turning back to London Heathrow straight away, but we've got Gatwick to the southeast, and we've got also uh, more towards the south, we've got Southampton and also Bournemouth as an option. Uh, take over turn it today anyway. It's uh, take over turn it today anyway. Is um, Paris shells the goal? And uh, in case of radio communications failures, we'll be squawking 7600. By the way, if we have an uh, engine out procedure, any kind of emergency of that nature, 7700. But in case of a radio communications failure, 7600, uh, we'll be uh, climbing uh, as published with the last uh, cleared um, altitude, which is 6000 feet for me. And. Um, and uh, we'll be uh, taking off today using a ModMe uh, one kilo departure today. Uh, so we'll be using ModMe one kilo initially outbound London DME 1.5. Then we'll be uh, sort of sidestepping, intercepting radial 125 outbound London to London DME 3.5. We'll be making another right turn heading 207. At uh, DME 20 from Midhurst, we have to be at uh, 5,000. And uh, at the ME18 from Midhurst, we had to be out about 4,000 for sure. I'm sorry, I read that for the wrong uh, SID. Uh, so, DME8 for ISD at the moment, one kilo is uh, out about 4,000 uh, DME18 from Midhurst, and then out about 5,000 uh, DME15 from Midhurst, and then what be 6,000 mandatory. But we'll be climbing uh, gradually. Um, and we won't be climbing just to 6,000, and we won't be, because we won't be keeping the restriction all the way to Modby. 
Sector minimum set to altitude for this uh, sector is 2,100 between radio 360 and radio 270, both outbound from the London VOR. This Lee Mask in November. And uh, other than that, that's the uh, budget brief completed. There's nothing uh, we should be worrying about in terms of uh, threats. It's just London Heathrow being quite a busy airport, but it's still even busy at this time of the morning. And uh, without further ado, guys, uh, we'll do the before start checklist. So we'll go over here, the before start checklist now. Pass signs are on. MCP V2 148, uh, 090 6000. Uh, Ticker speeds V1 140, V1 140, V2 148, V1 140, V1 140, V2 148. And uh, CD pre completed, trim, just uh, set this to five units. Okay, Beaker Light can come on. And we'll be uh, facing to the north, and there's right to our left. Hey guys, welcome back to the time lapse just momentarily. Just like to show you that landing aircraft and see how it does. Wonderful. What is he? An AP20 or something? With winglets. Well, that's not called winglets, are they? They're called sharklets in an AP20. Let's see. Oh, wonderful. Skyways AP20. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Before we judge, before we judge, yeah. That's, uh, that's X plane. So that's why his landing looked a little bit rough, uh, but it wasn't. I think it was okay. I think he did a quite a decent flare. But so well done, buddy. But you know what, guys? I won't keep you in the time lapse of this part. We're just so close to Alpha Bravo One Three at this point. Might as well keep you here. Um, a, a lot of the times, the reason why I tend to go into the time lapse is because um, I find that during the taxi type, although I I could have very interesting conversations and you know talking to you guys is obviously the only thing i want to do in this video really apart from aviating you know um flying the aircraft but uh um it's just um just to, just so you guys don't get fatigued from watching the video if that makes sense i'd rather you guys just like um you know watch the departure um, at real time rather than the taxi, which I find quite repetitive, but that's okay. Taxiing is also part of the fun, in my opinion. But anyway, we are approaching now Alpha Bravo 1 3, from Missouri dollar left, and we'll go and that's it. EFA traffic, Speedbird uh, 157 will be taken off now, probably Missouri dollar left, taken off by a mod mic, uh, one kilo departure. Uh, have a lovely day everybody, safe pleasant journey onwards and uh, hopefully uh, everyone will have a lovely day. Bye bye, thank you. Cheers buddy, see you later. Weather radar, come on. Uh, traffic displays. Oh. And uh, other than that, Team fully ready to go properly. Let the lights go and come on. Strobe lights come on as well. I put the strobe lights on back accident before. My bad. If I did. So I see, I can't. I can't, can't see the switch. Oh, yeah, they're on. Fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let me just put my departure chart out here. Okay, left hand side's clear, and so is the right hand side. 
fantastic guys uh one thing i do like to say about the 787 is that i'm someone that doesn't like to have the hard on i know it's a standard operating procedure and i think in british show is it is a standard operating procedure um but i just don't really like it to be honest and just, as long as i can keep it off i'll keep it off so sorry about that guys if you guys wanted to see it it's a hard option just had action but uh without further ado guys let's go Spool the engines. Take off. Port pressure. Okay, if I set an 80 dots, it's checked. Now Keep the takeoff roll going, fantastic. V1. Rotate. I think the V1 call out doesn't exist in real life. Then the British Airways, but. Fantastic. And we have a positive rate. Gear up. L nav. Fantastic. Once across London DME 1.5. Making a right turn here. Oh my goodness, what an absolutely beautiful departure. Stunning. Stun absolutely so stunning. update the heading here speed check that's one and plops up another right turn coming up here Fantastic, just follow the flight directors nicely. And uh, we'll climb now to flight level 250. Unrestricted. Fantastic guys, we're making now another right turn here, which I think this is 207. Thought we were in overcast conditions when I had the NTIS on, but guess not. I must have read the meter, so I, I mean, if I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, I might be make, if I make some mistakes, it's kind of because I haven't slept. Right? It's 7.39 in the morning, so I'm not exactly <laughs> on my, um, I'm not exactly on my house alert level, but I'll try my best. That's, uh, as much as I can. Okay, since we're coming to a flight level, we can put this pressure at the standard. Fantastic. And uh, the after takeoff check is complete. I'm going over here. Really nice. Really, really nice. We just put some exterior views for you guys. Yeah, this trend 1000 sound amazing. And we've got London Heathrow back there. Climbing really fast, actually, I'd say. Really, really fast. Which is cool. Obviously, we're really lightweight right now, so it's to be expected. Alright, cool. Fantastic. So we'll keep the climb going. Passing 9,000. Still like to fly manually. Um, 11 Heath 3, guys. I really don't recommend it. Um, uh, I I mean, I'm not... I don't encourage automation too much when it comes to anything below 10,000 feet on the takeoff. I think 
if it's a good time to uh, get yourself familiar back with the aircraft and really uh, revive that revive that muscle memory from the last flight from uh, flying but um, in London Heathrow it's super busy at the turns can be really tight like this one and so up on departure especially if you're in a high power aircraft like this and if you're lightweight can be quite hard to control and uh, you really have to trim the plane a lot so just saying if you if you don't want to uh, don't use the autopilot I mean don't don't fly manually use the autopilot anyway passing 10,000 land lights turn ups and tech let's come off see the signs uh, I'm saying quite happy to put them on auto okay cool and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to yeah, I'm going to uh, leave everything as it is right now. Just going to make another left turn. I'm going to update this heading to 178. Oh, no, it's not that. Sorry, I can't read right now. It's time and all. It's 152. That's what we're turning to right now. What? What are we turning to then? Oh fuck you! Okay, okay, okay. So I'm on the sixth page. I'm on the sixth page. All right, one six four. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. My bad. And uh, what we're gonna go is we're gonna go to the fixed page here, and I'm gonna just remove this fix. I'm gonna put one more to the airport. But guys, without further ado, I hope you've enjoyed the departure and the takeoff out of London Heathrow. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on board so far. I'm just going to put this to 20 miles, and I'm gonna put this to 160. Okay. And guys, without further ado. Actually, I'm going to increase, sorry, some for 320. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to step away now from the flight deck and I'm going to go to sleep because I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty knackered right now. So, uh, without further ado, guys, I want you guys to enjoy the flight as much as possible. Enjoy the views. It's absolutely wonderful, guys. I mean, the views are absolutely stunning from Europe to the Middle East. It's uh, and, you know, some of Africa. It's just so good. And uh, without further ado, guys, enjoy the rest of your flights and enjoy the time lapse. Any important communications between me and the air traffic controllers, of course, I'll take away from the time lapse, and any critical part of the flight, I'll take away from the time lapse. However, I am going to go to sleep, so I'm going to be disconnecting. But do enjoy the cockpit views and the GoPro views, and uh, enjoy the time lapse. Thanks so much for tuning to the video so far, guys, and uh, I'll see you uh, when I wake up. Bye. <music>
Look at this agreeable delight for the lack of life. Unforgettable, so sweet you may be edible. She's just a pedestal to step out of heaven. You ready, boo? Never hypothetical, you facts, facts, match, facts. Fuck theatrical, baby girl, because you're actual. Physically, your chemistry is so mathematical. How to use academics to define your spirit. You lifted my limits, your name off on my tongue is a lyric. She's a compilation of my mind's representation of a representative. Representing an excellent revelation of time and dedication. Never impatient. She know the deal. Herself to me, so I can see a heavenly ways, a heavenly gaze, and plus I know her that she hasn't asked for days. Okay. So as we lay, I reminisce on the day that we met. Please, God, never let me forget.
had a beautiful Kuwait, guys. I'd like to apologize for um, not uh, talking to you guys or uh, doing anything with the Aurora briefing any earlier uh, to Kuwait International Airport, guys, and uh, just uh, not briefing you at all on the flight. And that was just because I uh, I wanted to maximize my sleep, um, uh, obviously for my sake, but uh, I was just having Korean barbecue. That's a, quite a tricky uh, food to have uh, while you are in a uh, descent on a two, uh, different airport, you know, or to when well, you have such a short amount of time to eat. Um, but what we will do is go straight away to the performance uh, landing performance. So, uh, what we will do here is go to the progress page, and uh, we'll see how much fuel we will have at Kuwait, which is uh, 8.1. We are currently 8.5, so we'll be decreasing by 0.4. So I'm going to round it up to 156 on the gross weight here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, landing weight. I'm going to put 156, so 156 tons, and we're going to be landing by 33 left with dry conditions. Current weather conditions are with 350 degrees. Sorry, this is a bit of a pain in the ass. So 350 degrees, six knots. With the uh, outside air temp being about 28 degrees Celsius. And uh, current QNH just being around 1017 hectopascals. With the uh, landing table will be Cat 1, flaps 25. Uh, no ITI is required, reverse chromophic. No credit, spoilers, and all auto, and auto break will put the all as an option. We'll be setting this output, and we'll be setting it to the FMC. Fantastic, what we will be accepting. And uh, we're going to be putting 1027 hectopascals here anyway. Fantastic. The uh, the reduction in speed here will, um, on velocity, will uh, give us a lot of uh, leeway here. You know, will give us a lot of time to uh, um, ready ourselves for the approach. 1017 hectopascals. Fantastic. So, um, and there's no significant change apparently. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be descending right now um, by the uh, Wafra to Delta arrival. So I believe we're on the Wafra to Delta arrival. Let me just check that. I haven't, I haven't really like, oh no, it's a Wafra to Charlie. My bad, my bad guys. So, so it's the Wafra to Charlie arrival. Um, initially we'll be over by Sopor. So over Wafra. And stick to orange sync myself on the chart. Okay, so there's the Wafra VOR over there. And then we've got pedal on heading 018 to, to pedal for 22 track miles. And pedal we have to be at 3000. So Wafra we have to be out above 3000 and then at pedal 3000. Then we'll be making a left turn uh, onto Radva, which is, we, have, we, have, we have to be at 2500 for five track miles. And uh, so from pedal to Arabas, five track miles and then 2,500 on the block. And then uh, we'll be taking today the RLS uh, DME runway 33 left approach. Um, so the uh, RLS frequency is uh, 109.5. And um, final approach course is 332. Uh, with, and with landing cat one, the barrier table will be 380. No, not radio altimeter. So guys, let's go put some drag onto the aircraft. Oh, we'll get there one day. Barrow, and it's a 380 barometric over here. Fantastic. So 380 barometric. And uh, initially we'll be by Raba. And then at uh, DME 5.7 from uh, the ILS, you have to be at uh, 2,000 feet. Or we'll be in terms of a three degree approach gradient standard. Um, and in case of this approach, we'll be uh, flying up on the Kuwaiti VOR and uh, DME 4 from the Kuwaiti VOR heading 332. We'll be making a left turn direct to the Kuwaiti VOR again to fly at 3,000 feet. Then that's fired. Around the uh, Kuwait airport, uh, we'll just erase all the fixes here. I, just, I don't really need them anymore. Um, so for the uh, Kuwaiti Airport, it's a uh, 25 nautical mile ring. Um, obviously, for the uh, minimum set to altitude, which overall for this airport is uh, 2400. Airport elevations are 204 MSL, and uh, for the uh, to vacate, so if we just go and look at uh, landing uh, distance. Um, Stopping distance or landing distance. Um, we'll be um, so we want to vacate because we're going to be taxiing to uh, stand five. So if I just go and check the chart right now, okay. So stand five is at the other side of the apron, right? So we need to probably vacate. Uh, 
the whiskey five right so the runway is about 3400 meters so we'll probably need around i'd say we probably need about 2800 um but just trust me because of the, the 787 uh this aircraft breaks really quickly so we'll be using auto brake one and if we can minimum reverse but i think the reverse in this aircraft is quite touchy uh when you click f2 so uh that's kind of out of our control but we'll be disengaging the auto brakes and our manual braking if uh, we break too quickly um but we're going to be working to whiskey five but just uh, to double check the landing distance what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our calculator and we're just going to be taking auto brake one uh which is uh eight four one zero and we'll multiply that by 0 0.3 which will give us 2500 meters for the landing distance um meaning that uh order break one is the most appropriate order break setting so we're vacating via whiskey five uh making the right onto whiskey one then left onto whiskey one four and uh head to whiskey one seven to the ramp stand number five okay and that that's the arrival we've completed the approach checklist 1017 hectopascals left side middle and right side approach check is complete um okay for some reason we have the descent checklist is not wait give us that sorry 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 let's go and uh to the normal, to the normal menu the, to the descent checklist sorry and uh for the descent checklist recall is check notes check order break is one landing data vref So it's uh, VRF 139 plus 5, which is uh, 144. Uh, Minimum 360 barometric, left side and right side. Bridge brief completed, the center is complete. Fantastic. Okay, put the, the navigation display over here. We'll zoom it back in over here. And uh, without further ado, guys, I'm actually not going to cut this video anymore. I'm going to go in with the approach with you guys over here. Uh, as we're just entering anyway within the airport's boundaries so li literally literally re-entering uh, 25 dme from the kuwait vor and i feel uh we'll see if you guys see this part it's because i didn't cut it out if you guys don't see it well it's because i obviously uh did uh, do a uh, time lapse all the way to a pedal but we'll get there in the end we're below 10,000, so we've got to put the landing lights on and that's all we need for now i left the local light on by accident but that's fine uh should be no problem uh we'll the menu page turn the power off and this is just absolutely wonderful i mean this is just beautiful um <laughs> that's no other way to describe it really and uh, let's see what the fmc says that's okay uh, i won't use the speed brakes just yet anyway uh oh actually we might need a bit of drag going on in the aircraft here we'll uh, put a 20 mile range here and then 10 fantastic and the airport should just be to our sort of our 11 o'clock really Okay, and um, this is freeway scenery, by the way. So, um, you know, it is really pretty good. Um, obviously, we put GSX Level 2 jetways onto the uh, onto the scenery, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. GSX Level 2 jetways are one of the, In fact, just GSX Level 2 in general is one of the best investments I've ever made. And it's not even that. It's not... Well, okay, that sounds really spoiled. It's just not that expensive, you know? It's really... It's, it's like... It's okay. You know, it's not, it's not a bad price. Uh, for what you get because if you think about it yeah i mean like i feel kind of like so i prefer so jetways because in my past experience in p3d version 4 well they are so jetways but i prefer the actual so jetways because the reason like when the airport loads up i don't get the micro stuff to like two miles away from the airport you know but like in with uh, gsx level 2 i had to, i got that quite often and that was really annoying <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys but um with the gsx uh, level 2 right now in p3d version 5 anyway seems that a lot of problems with the micro starters have just gone so now um it's absolutely fine and um i uh i got the gsx level 2 uh uh sort of um any file for from uh hugo clark which is one of the uh, one of my favorite uh, flight tip youtubers is absolutely brilliant for he loved the heathrow um but the reason why i don't use it in p3d version 5 is just because just from past experience i, I didn't want to want to use that yes i didn't want to risk getting that um that pull you know that that pull from that you know that stutter so um that's why um 
that's why uh, we run with normal the normal uh, sim wing so jetways rather than with the GSX level two jetways um, in Heathrow. But other than that, the GSX level two jetway models are just stunning. I mean, like if you see Heathrow and you replace it with the Hugo Clark ED file, the HSBC jetways look so much better. Just look fantastic, really. So, you know stuff like that but um what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be reducing our speed to 201 no rush into look kuwaiti um and uh one of the things that one of the reasons why i'm actually looking forward to editing this flight is because because i was asleep for the majority of this flight it's going to be really interesting just to look and see what i missed during the cruise i don't like missing the cruise you know it's i believe it or not a lot of the time when i'm in the cruise i like to, I like to be in the aircraft as much as i can because I really want to see, you know, with when you have the open OC packages and when you have uh, P3 version 5 as a whole, because of the way that the dynamic the clouds are, well, when, they, when the sky updates, yeah, it's so dynamic that like, I just want to watch it. I just want to see it, you know, and just seeing so many countries and flying over so many countries and just feeling that you're in control of this aircraft, you know, and this aircraft is navigating you, but you're controlling the aircraft's navigations and it's just you're really flying across the world and everything, flying these wonderful aircraft, you know, whether it's 747 all the way up to 787, all the way down to 727, even though I haven't had the pleasure to fly the 727. But it's so, it's so cool, you know, it's just so, such a good feeling. And that's something that, I really appreciate about flight simulation and uh, that's that's I like sleeping in flights don't get me wrong it's really cool to wake up and know that you're gonna be doing something that you love but I prefer uh, staying for long hauls during the day which is a lot of the reason why I like to do my long hauls in the day much better than in the night although I hire kind of kind of I find it hard to um, uh, how to far to uh, sometimes do some of the long hauls during the night because I want to arrive during the day just like this flight Kuwaiti which is why I didn't do it during the day and why I did it overnight to arrive here during the day of course um, anyway guys I'm just going to turn the monitor on my on my uh, uh, other PC just because it's kind of shining a lot of light right now on my eye and it's kind of distracting me so well, it's, it's not shining a lot of light it's just it's kind of like just you know if it's a screen it's kind of distracting me you know what i'm saying so okay cool uh we'll be uh yep we'll go get flaps five now oh my bad i think i was touching the throttles yep flaps five fantastic <clears throat> and uh we'll go ahead and uh you know what we will go flaps 10 And uh, we'll reduce speed further when we catch the glide. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Very good, very good. And uh, we'll go ahead and flaps 15. Gear down. Let's just match it with the maneuverable speed. Really nice. We're well, on the speed brakes now. Direct. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the... Uh, so sensitive um <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put the uh flaps 25 speed so the rear plus five so it's one tw 139 plus five so 144 and uh once we get 25 degrees on the left we'll get the landing checklist completed okay fantastic landing checklist complete we'll call the kuwait traffic that we are pretty much on uh on final well no we're not on final but like we're getting there innit and that's something that's an effect that i don't know what the scenery's got it's kind of annoying but you know what that doesn't matter realism in it it's not even realistic but <laughs> i still appreciate it ah and over there you can see the uh, kuwait city center oh my goodness this is so yep yep this is so i wish it was from the other side but you know what <laughs> this is good enough for me anyway we'll call the uh we'll call the um Kuwait traffic. Kuwait traffic, a very good uh, afternoon. Hoping everyone's having the most stuff of the day. This is uh, Speedbird. Uh, 157, just at a uh, 7.4 mile final. Uh, landing runway uh, 33 left for the Kuwaiti traffic. Uh, Speedbird 157, thank you. Okay, cool. Let me just go and put my Boeing. Um, oh, I don't know what they call these. It's not a necklace. Um, it's kind of like the things that they use to work where you put like the keypads if you want to go into like a building or something from the company I really love it it's uh, the bone one and it gives me it's like my it's like my placebo good luck charm really if I could describe it that way okay Mr. Perichal she sets 3000 anyway 
Fantastic. Okay, we'll go ahead and disengage the order pilot here. And uh, I'd like to take over the order throwers as well, please. Fantastic over here, guys. Really good stuff, really good stuff. Keep the same coming. Following the glider, localizer. Absolutely fantastic freeware CD. I mean, can't even believe this freeware CD. Apart from the rubber textures, it's just more lovely. It's really, really lovely. Um, and uh, continue with the approach here. Cool. Thousands check and we're stable. We're ha happy to continue so far. So let's continue down to the minimums and then obviously we'll from there we'll decide whether we're happy to continue further with the approach and the landing. Okay, a little bit bumpy, but that's fine. Just makes it more dynamic, doesn't it? I mean, this is real turf doing this work, I think. I mean, I don't, I don't think it'll be normal out of sky than P3D. And guys, if you don't have real turf, I absolutely recommend it. It's so good. So good. All right. Gonna be a bit high over here, but that's fine. Go keep following the glide. Okay, the barrow's glitched again on the 787, but that's okay. Whiskey 5 is all the way down there. I can't remember if there's a Whiskey 5. But there you go. Yeah, the barrow's correct. It's just the... Continue. So the green amber bar, right? The green bar right there was just wrong. Okay, let's go 50 over the threshold. Oh. oh no, we overflared it. Oh no, such a floating. Oh, beautiful. Speed breaks up. Uh, the reverses are normal. Let me just get my ground chart over here. Uh, manual braking. And we can stay the reverses. We'll continue the roll over here. Hopefully it doesn't do me the glitch that it did me in Mexico City. That would be quite bad. It's doing it again, isn't it? Please. Yep, it's doing it again. No, come on, don't do this to me. I'm begging you, it's such a good flight, please. Please, 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 please. Okay, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. This is a glitch. It happened in Mexico City. I think I know why. I think it's because when we pushed back, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to, um, oh, what do you call it? I forgot to uh, release the um, the chocks and the ground power, but that's okay. You basically got to keep, oh, no, this is so bad. This is going to, oh, come on. That's such a lovely approach. Oh, this is a bit of a shame, isn't it? That this this has to happen, but that's okay. You know what? I'll forgive it. I'll forgive it. Please, let me vacate up the runway properly. Is it gone? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, okay. We'll continue, we'll continue to roll the plane. I think once we get off the runway, it should go back to normal and such. Okay. Uh, we can clean the aircraft in a wee bit. So, we, so I'll just try to... Uh, Attached to this with this glitch over here, which is so annoying. It's so weird. Okay, we'll put the flaps up. Don't worry. Okay, cool. And um, we'll uh, take the uh, first right here to Whiskey One, and then we'll turn left on Whiskey One Four. Now, one thing I'd like to say about the moving map uh, the, uh, on the navigation display there, next to the ICAS display, you can look at the first officer's one. Is that when you're taxiing around, just as a little tip, you don't. Oh, we could just I, I don't think I see this on my chart, but we'll follow it anyway. What's this? It was just a bit of a shortcut, isn't it? Um But yeah, one tip I wanted to say was that uh if you want to look at your moving maps, uh we'll call the unicorn by the way. Uh Kuwaiti traffic, this is Bay Bird, one five seven, vacated, runway uh three three left here, whiskey five will be uh taxi uh, whiskey seven and whiskey so correction, whiskey six and uh, we'll be joining Whiskey 1-4, left until Whiskey 1-7 to uh, join and uh, park at Stand 5. Take care of yourselves, have a lovely day everybody, and uh, we'll see anybody soon again. Bye-bye. Fantastic. So what I was going to say was that, if, wait, if I do, I just want to see if the aircraft will keep rolling normally. No, it won't. I know the 787 doesn't bleed off the speed like that. No, sir. No, sir. Just go check the terminal over here. It's always good to keep checking. Fantastic. 
that? I thought that was strobe light from a different aircraft. Wait, I think it's gone now. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. No more glitch. All right, good. Um, Whiskey 5 should be this one over here. Give me a sec, guys. If I just concentrate just a little bit on this. Uh, oh, okay. Um, let's go for this. Whiskey 5. Oh, no. <laughs> Whiskey 5. I mean, get way 5. There you go. All right, cool. All right. We'll uh, turn the APU now. One, two. Okay. Weather radar. Before we enter to the ramp, I just want to do some things here so we can take away the weather radar over here. Now, guys, just keep in mind because of that glitch, I wanted to prioritize uh, what I cleaned up and what I didn't. So we'll put the transponder to XPDR. Put the landing light. Uh, so the um, flight directors to off. Could have raised this fix as well, just so I don't forget later. And uh, what else? Other than that, I don't think we need to clean anything else apart from maybe reset the uh, reset the trim. Put that back to four units. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, or making the left turn here. And yeah, just the one thing I wanted to say was the navigation display. You see, I put maps, put it at 0.51 if you're on the 787. You shouldn't be using the uh, moving map to taxi around. You should be using it for your situational awareness, in my opinion. All right. I mean, like, if you know the apple by heart, maybe you don't even need the charts, but it's always good to have the charts. Even though I've land, you know, I've taken off and landed it from Heathrow 200 more than 200 times, I don't, I don't ever go to Heathrow without my charts on. You know, so I'm, it's just maybe it's it's always good to have your charts, and uh, you know, like I said in aviation, your situ your situational awareness is always key, and uh, you can only increase it really by having your charts, in my opinion. But it's always up to you. Okay, we'll slow down a little bit here. I know that we're going to be over part a little bit here. So maybe we'll stop right over there. That will be good. All right, wicked. Uh, bucket break set. And uh, ABU is running. Oh, we've we'll got to switch off edge number one and two. All right, wonderful. All right. See you later, hydraulics. That's complete. It's supposed to go like, clack, 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 but... <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, beacon light and navigation light can come off. Uh, super socks come off. And uh, go ahead and request the deboarding, really. Okay. So the power and the trucks can be set. And uh, connect the external power now. And the... AP could come off to be that clean. Oh my for fuck's sake. I don't even know if external power is on. I hope it is. Um, and we can take away the uh, full door power off. And we're going to do the shutdown checklist with the parking brake. Set shutdown checklist complete. Okay. Um, I'll keep the navigation display on this page over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the traffic and the VORs and data off. Uh, we can stop the clock on my side as well. And. Uh, there you go. Fantastic. Go, go ahead and open door L2. And we could open the cargo doors as well. And uh, what else can we do? Uh, well, I don't know why I'm asking that. I mean, I know what to do. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, we could. Sorry. Uh, we could complete the flight on Project Fly as well. I'm running uh, Volanta and Project Fly at the same time. So, so yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Plane. I really appreciate it, mate. So, oh, fuck's sake. It's so annoying. Um, and we can tell the transport. That's what I was going to do. So, guys, <laughs> welcome to Kuwait. It's, uh, oh, look at this. It's just absolutely wonderful, isn't it? It's just such a brilliant airport. I can't, can't get enough of it, really. Uh, for freeway scenery, I mean, this is top class. It's top class. We get a jetway. We get GSX level two jetways. We get jet, uh, any builds uh, dynamic lighting, and we get to come here with the 787. Although we could have come here with the 747, but I just wanted to really show the 787 in this channel. As like I said, I didn't. I've never done it before. So I really hope you've enjoyed this flight, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on board, and it's been an absolute pleasure to do this flight. I've really, really, really enjoyed this flight. I've haven't felt this adventurous since I went to Kathmandu with Cathay Pacific for the first time. So it was really interesting and really 
um, Bun to come over here to um, Koi and really do this fight. But guys, without further ado, I have somewhere to be right now. I arrived just in time to go to that X place. So that's going to be fantastic. And um, one day, guys, uh, with my phone camera okay it's don't worry it's a decent phone camera i will take you all the way up to london heathrow in real life and we'll go there for day of plane spotting i'll record as many planes as i can and uh, we'll have a group i'll, I'll, I'll upload it to youtube and will be a great time i really really want to go plane spotting during this half term um and uh Yep, uh, this 787-9 flight was absolutely brilliant. It was absolutely fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed this flight, guys. And uh, I just have to tell you, thank on behalf of all of, uh, you know, on behalf of all of British Airways, uh, the one World Alliance, but especially on behalf of your fantastic and hard-working cabin crew, as always, and the 787-9 Drew Line, thanks for choosing today to fly with this channel. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on board, guys. And let me just tell you one thing on the personal note from British Airways. British Airways... Maybe they have, we haven't. Maybe British Airways hasn't got the best or the most strong cabin product. Maybe British Airways hasn't got the best catering in the world. But what British Airways has is it has a live community that loves this airline, and most especially the crew and the staff that work for British Airways made this airline what it is. I am not joking. This airline will not be anywhere near the hearts of many people and many enthusiasts like me if it wasn't for the cabin crew because the cabin crew and all the crew in general and all the staff in British Airways made this airline absolutely fantastic I've always looked forward to flying British Airways simply just I would only fly just because of the stuff when it comes to the ground crew when it comes to the people on air side when it comes to people checking in the check-in encounters as people the liaisons the pilots the the the, the flight attendants any of these people are absolutely make the airline what it is and i'm not joking that this airline is so good it's so brilliant just because of them and just because of them alone and i think that an airline has only personality if the staff love to work for the airline and i truly believe that british airways is an airline where the staff genuinely do care about the airline as a whole and as enthusiasts and as me as a british airways enthusiast as my favorite airline is honestly it i love I love it with all my heart and all my passion. I'll always love this airline and it'll always be my favourite airline. And really, I can't thank enough all of the British Airways staff for making this airline a, a live, a real and a wonderful experience. Every single time being on this in real life. And I feel so proud to be able to fly this airline and be proud to say Speedbird over the frequency virtually in the virtual skies. So without further ado guys, on behalf of all of us again at uh, this YouTube channel, because it's not just me, it's also a lot of people giving me support uh, to do these videos. And I thank you so much for tuning today, for for you know for you guys to take your valuable time and tuning today into this flight. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on board and hopefully you'll join us on your next trip to wherever we go around the world. Thanks so much guys and this is your virtual Captain Speaking, Pabarona Park, signing off. I wish you a lovely day wherever you are. Bye-bye.